If your organization maintains documentation in Microsoft Word format, or you have content writers using Word as their application of choice, Document 360 makes it very simple to import these files as articles. As long as the Word format is DOCX, you will have a hassle-free import experience. Document 360 can also import your files from services like Confluence, Google Docs, or Dropbox Paper as long as they're in the DOCX format. The import feature is quite versatile and can structure your articles depending on the Word document. Let's look at this process in action. Import can be done in a couple of ways. The first is to import directly into any category. The other method is in the Content Tools, Import and Export. Let's import a document here. During the import process, we can choose to keep the entire document as a single article or split it into multiple articles. If you choose to split the document, it will take into consideration how the headings in the document are organized. For this example, let's leave the article as single and we'll look at how to split a document in the next demonstration. The article title is automatically picked up from the document, but we are free to edit this. Then we choose the category for this article. Any media files that are present in the document will be stored in the drive during the import process. This document contains a couple of images. Let's put them in the Word document folder. The next page gives us a summary of our settings for confirmation. Click on Start Import and once the article is created, clicking the Close button will take us directly to the imported article where we can make further edits and publish the content. We can also see that the image files present in the document have been saved to the drive in the Word Documents folder. In order to demonstrate how the document can be split into multiple articles, let's look at how this Word document is formatted. Here we see that the document has a heading 1, two heading 2s, another heading 1, and one more heading 2, and finally a heading 1. Also notice that this document has a bunch of images. Let's click Import and select the file and select multiple articles. Here we have the option of telling Document 360 how we want the split to happen. For our document, we'd like all heading 1s and heading 2s to be split into separate articles, so we enter H1 and H2 here. The next screen shows us how the articles have been separated, along with the article title, and we can place them within the relevant categories. We can preview each one to make sure that they come in as expected or delete unwanted articles. Then select the folder on the drive for all the images and media files within the document. Next we get to see the summary and we can start the import process. Once done, we can check to see if all the articles have landed in the appropriate categories. Also if you look in the drive folder we specified during import. We can see the image files that came with the document. Let's assume that down the line we change our minds and want the H2 articles as part of the Heading 1 article. Going back into the Import section, in the Choose Category page, we have the option to Merge to Parent, which will make the H2 article a part of the H1 parent article. Let's make this H2 a part of its parent and leave the remaining articles as they are. The versatility and flexibility of the Import from Word feature can help you bring in existing documentation into your knowledge base quickly and efficiently. It also helps your content writers who may prefer working in their favorite application to easily arrange their content as intended.